Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Conquistadors. In the last episode, we uh, got a new uh, member of our expedition, Miguel Sicart. He is a scholar. Uh, I've decided to give him uh, hunting because we need more hunting. Uh, and right now we have absolutely no patrolling whatsoever. Um, you can go hunting. All right, let's uh, let's get uh, Anna and Francisco treated. Uh, I will go ahead and take care of Anna. And ooh, excuse me. Um, Alvarado can take care of Francisco. All right, two to three medicine to treat, and five to six medicine to treat. Lovely. Um, I have seventy-five percent. Uh, um hunting chance at least uh, we're in the jungle okay let's go ahead and camp steel spirit your servants are just about ready with dinner but Bernardo is nowhere to be found you take a quick l walk around the outskirts of the camp and find him bent over an anvil next to a small fire hammering rhythmically on a piece of metal dinner is served Trevino he looks so he looks up without a without pause in his strikes gracias Capitan but I must finish this if you don't mind. Getting the steel hot the steel hot enough to strike out here in the middle of the jungle took quite a bit of effort. What are you working on? The head of my polearm could bear no more sharpening. It needs to be replaced. Did you learn to do this from your father? Trevino nods. Blacksmithing was never my calling, but I enjoy it as a compliment to battle. I find a great deal of security in being able to maintain my own equipment. Well, don't forget to eat when you're done. We'll save you a, we'll save you a ration. He nods before he nods before once again turning his full attention towards the hammer and the steel. Okay, and uh, so we lost nine medicine out of that. Got seven meat from uh, hunting, and I guess we'll go up here see if there's anything actually up here. Does not. L oh, yep. Had a feeling that there might be some valuables at the end of the uh, this little journey. 164 valuables. Very nice. Alright. Uh, let's, let's see. What do we... Uh, could go up that way. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and camp again. Um, you can get back on to patrolling. You can hunt. And I am still treating you. Yep. So, four to five medicine to treat. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and uh, camp. Gained 12 meat. Nice. And Anna has recovered from her injuries. Fantastic. Alright, let's uh, go up this way. Ha! Thought there might be some goodies. Oh, looks like there is. Is that a grave? That is a grave. Utilitarian grave. A hastily erected cross marks a grave here. Though the marker was clearly made in all haste, it was made to last, and the text is still readable. Uh, can can I read it? I don't want to dig it up. All right, we'll dig it up. You exhume the buried corpse. The skull bears signs of trepanning. That's... Okay. Well, no one lost, uh... Um, no one lost morale for me digging up the grave, but... All right. Aha, I see something up there. There we go. All right, let's see. Anna, thank you for returning to duty and get back onto patrol. Uh, how much do you have left on that? Eight days remain. All right. Oops. Ah, we could raid burial grounds, but we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and camp. 184 valuables, eight meat. Here, 
does not appear to be anything of interest up there. Well, actually, we can go this way. Aha! Some goodies. I want the goodies. Let's go ahead and camp. Alright, everyone is done. Nothing of interest. Um, I suppose I could put you back on herbalism. It's not going to change our hunting much. Gain seven wood, seven meat. Give me goodies. Yes, 220 values. Nice. Um, wait, there's a mysterious cave? I missed a mysterious cave? Damn it, I should have looked at my map. Let's go check out the mysterious cave. Alright, uh, looks like uh, we're pretty good. Alright. Uh, nothing, no meat to preserve. Let's go ahead and camp. Ah, I found a net trap. And seven meat. Oh, it was up past his place. Hmm, kind of sad that I missed that. Alright, let's go ahead and camp again. Nightmares. A scream from one of the tents adjacent to yours awake, awakes you. Shouldn't it be awakens you? I don't know. In the middle of the night, light footsteps patter through the grass as a few of your people leave their tents to see what's going on. Let's investigate the noise. You quickly get dressed, light a lantern, step outside to see what's going on. The flaps to Gabriele Barra's tents are open, and you can hear the voice of Miguel Sicart comforting, comforting the hunter. It's all right. You just had a bad dream. You're safe. You're safe, Gabriela. Everything is all right. What's wrong? Miguel Sicart is holding Gabriela in a comforting embrace, stroking her hair and shushing as you would a small child. Gabriella is frowning deeply, staring emptily into the middle into the middle distance. She's been crying in her sleep, but she's quiet now. She looks up at you. Sorry, Capitan. Are you alright? She nods stoically. It was just a nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? The hunter shake, shakes her head. I will leave them alone. More sniffling emanates from Gabriella's tent, but it sounds like Miguel has managed to calm the hunter down. No more conversation follows, and soon after you hear Miguel get up to leave the tent. Well, back to bed we go. Hmm. Uh, we got, uh, we lost 36 metal. Ow. Oh. We gained 5 wood and 7 meat. Wow. You are not supposed to find this thing, are you? Let's get the herbs. Back on to map and mysterious cave mysterious caves of gold I hope I want gold give me gold alrighty uh, let's see what are we doing everything appears to be okay yep nothing of interest nearby Some camp goal updated Fortaleza de Gutierrez all right so it must be done uh, ten herbs into medicine and we only got seven well, now we can head back to uh, our fort. Well, let's see what this is. Fountain of Youth. High in the mountains, you discover an ancient Olmec-style stone archway at the mouth of a great cave. Etchings in the stone seem to tell of a great gift from the gods, a taste of immortality awaiting those brave and pious enough to pass through labyrinthine caverns that hide many dangers. Oh my. Let's see if we have time for this in this episode. I think so. Let's enter the cave. Entering the mountains. Entering the mountain. You find yourself in a beautiful grotto with a crystalline blue lake lit by rays of crisp sunlight sifting through the dusty openings in the ceiling. Across from the entrance is a large, strong double door wrought from solid stone with an indentation in the center that appears to be a slot for an elaborate circular key of some sort. 
Detailed inscriptions in the rocks surrounding the door explain that the key has been split into three pieces, each piece located in a different part of the caverns, guarded by terrible dangers. You inspect the tunnels leading away from the main grotto. And there does indeed appear, appear to be three of them, each marked by a large glyph etched in the rock above. The tunnels are very cramped, and bringing your entire expedition into each of them would be foolish. You have to choose one of your people to accompany, accompany you to get each of the keys. Hmm. Alright, so we have the Serpent Tunnel, the Maze Tunnel, and the Skull Tunnel. Well, we'll do them in order. Let's enter the Serpent Tunnel. This tunnel is marked with a serpent glyph. You think you hear hissing from the darkness. Well, hmm. Everyone is uh, enthusiastic except Miguel. Um, now, I think snakes, we might want to take a doctor along. Um, or maybe a hunter. Hmm, let's see. Are we going to be dealing with poison, or are we going to have to have someone fend off the snakes? Yeah, we can always reload. I'm not, I'm not Iron Manning this, so we can always reload. Uh, Gabrielle, come along. You light two torches and venture into the tunnel, with Gabrielle Barra at, by your side. Uh, I hope you've gotten over your nightmares. The symbol outside the tunnel proves quite accurate, as the tunnel opens up into a set of small grottos that appear to be breeding pits for poisonous snakes of all colors and sizes. We'll continue. The hunter expertly guides you along the least slithering path, showing you how to sweep at the snakes with your torch to keep them at bay. You reach the inner chamber unharmed, where a third of an elaborately decorated stone disc is resting in a niche dug straight into the rock wall. Let's take the disc. Excellent! I chose properly. You take the disc and make your way back to the main grotto the way you came. Now we've got the maze tunnel. The opening to this tunnel has an intricate glyph that must represent some sort of maze. Well, I think that that sounds like a, the job for... where are you? Anna, a scout. The opening to this tunnel has an intricate glyph that must represent some sort of maze. You tell Anna Vidal to grab a torch and follow you as you enter the tunnel, marked with the twirl of a glyph that can only represent a labyrinth. Within five turns through the twisted tunnels, you're completely and utterly lost, as you your initial plan to always turn right is foiled by a few loops and dead ends. Fortunately, your scout seems to still have an idea of what direction you're facing. You follow her for what seems like hours until you enter a large chamber. A larger chamber with a third of a disc resting on an intricately decorated stone pedestal. Well, let's take the disc. You take the disc and leave the way you came, relying on Vidal's natural sense of direction to find the way back out. Alright, now we have the Skull Tunnel. This is the only tunnel in the cave with an actual carved doorway for an entrance. The door is ambiguously marked with a skull, but further glyphs along the side of the entrance speak of ancient guardians and vengeful dead. Um, Bernardo, uh, I think we might need you to fend off some, uh, ancient guardians and vengeful dead. You and Bernardo Trevino venture into the tunnel marked with an ominous skull. On the other side of a short twisty passage, you enter a dank tomb with mummified corpses propped up against the walls on all sides. Nothing happens at first, but halfway through the, the sinister crypt. Creaking groans announce what only the most superstitious part of you feared. The mummies have awakened to rebuke your intrusion into their resting place. Maintaining his calm, Bernardo takes a hefty swing at one of the shambling corpses, cleaving it in nearly half, and revealing it to be attached to some sort of mechanical pulley system. Having seen through the illusion, the two of you can carve a path through the mechanical dead to the final chamber, carefully avoiding several lethal traps on the way. Where you find a third of a stone disc is nestled, nested on some sort of shrine. Let's take the disc. You grab the disc and return to the exit without further incident. Let's assemble the key. Ooh, that's a pretty nice uh, image there. Having assembled all three pieces of the key into a full stone disc that slots neatly together, you place the disc into the slot on the door in the door and turn it in a full circle clockwise. The doors slide apart to reveal an enormous pyramid hidden in a small valley 
with steep rock walls on every side, barely large enough to contain the temple. As the awe-inspiring sight is revealed, a furious dispute is ignited among your servants. You don't even have time to understand the cause of the argument before one of them produces a dagger and thrusts it into the throat of another servant. In the blink of an eye, you have to fight. You have a fight on your hands. All right, let's defend ourselves. I'm, uh, let's go with equipment. Um, okay, Figueroa. We're taking your equipment back. Thank you. Anna. Have your equipment back. All right, I've got three unassigned equipment. You're still good. You're still good. You're still good. Anna's good. Gabriella, maybe. Yeah, let's uh, let's see three. All right, let's give you a bit more. All right. All right, Bernardo, Gabriella, Anna, Pedro, Isabella, and Rosalia. To battle! Oh my. All right, let's see. What do we have? Eliminate all enemies. Ten enemies remaining. Holy crap. All right, let's see. Uh, Man-at-Arms Trapper. Veteran Scout. Man-at-Arms Hunter. Recruit Hunter, Man-at-Arms Soldier, Veteran Warrior, Recruit Soldier, Man-at-Arms Warrior, Man-at-Arms Scout, and Veteran Soldier. Oh, oh my, this is... Nice looking uh, entrance. That is a big uh, spider web there. Alright, let's uh, see. So exactly is everyone? So we're in two groups. Can I... Nope, I cannot move them. I cannot... Uh, there's no preparation phase. Alright. Half tempted to pull back here. Um, and let them come to me. What about over here? I could pull back here. What is the more defensible area? Well, this is farther. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's pull back here. Let's get on interrupt. Gabriella. Pull back around there. Interrupt. Go back there. There we go. All right, guys, come and get it. And this should, uh, with these pillars in the pl in the way, it should force them to uh, um, come much closer before anyone can use uh, any uh, ranged attacks on us. So. Man, ten enemies. It's a bit much, game. It's a bit much. I'm sure we can take it, though. After all, we've got the Fountain of Youth nearby. Alright, Man-at-Arms Warrior. Uh, probably means you've got a, uh, the ability to uh, stun. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do? I don't want to get too uh, blocked in, but... Go there. Interrupt. There. Interrupt. Get there. Interrupt. 
interrupt. Interrupt. And... Interrupt. There we go. Come on! Hi! Oh, nice. What's some more. Excellent. And... An Aww. Ooh, fantastic. Oh, and a miss. Well... Ow. I think I'm gonna have to uh, reposition slightly. Well, not gonna have a chance to. Good, miss. A lot of guys coming. I'm surprised that guy didn't shoot. I guess he uh, moved too much. Well, um. Alright, let's see. Best way to handle this guy. Veteran warrior here. Um, first of all, let's get off the uh, range weapons real fast. All right, so um, Anna, let's stab him. All right, got flanking. There we go. I'll save the uh, uh, quick shot. I think this should kill him. Yeah. So good. Right, let's move one out. Let's go back over here and go ahead and heal up uh, Anna there. Uh, I guess we'll get back on the interrupt. You can't, you can't. There's not much you can do. Alright, well. Let's let them come in. There are a lot of guys here, though. Might throw a lantern. Although I only have two. Dang it! Maybe I should have set for set uh, my ranks forward one because uh, I can't move my doctor around behind the row the uh, our ranks. Yeah, probably should have. Um, Let's uh, faint through this guy. <clears throat> Alright, that way we'll get uh, flanking on that guy, so... Let's do that. Although I don't really like Anna being out here like that. Um... So I'll just go ahead and uh, heal up Bernardo. And I suppose I can move uh, Gabriella over here. And let's quick shot on that guy there. Oh, Ooh, nice. Can we get some more? Oh, almost. Um, well, in that case, let's uh, just go ahead and kill this guy. 
because then we can feint through this guy uh, in the next turn, if we decide to. Um, get over here so I can heal you up uh, next turn. You have not done anything. You have done... Yeah, so you're the only one who has not done anything. Scout... Now that scout could probably feint through uh, Rosalia. Which I don't like, but uh, since they came up real close, uh, I'm not too worried about them. But I think the scout is more dangerous, so let's actually stun the scout. There we go. Good, not much damage. Ow. Definitely need to heal her up. Okay, got flanking on Anna now, though. Not good. Oh, and she's stunned. Damn it. Alright, Anna's in trouble now. Good. Quick shot failed on the... Uh... Uh-oh. Don't go... Damn it. Alright, yeah, so that was kind of stupid to, uh... Move her out. I suppose I could have moved her there or something like that, but... Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and, uh... Heal up Isabella. Let's see, percentage is 86. You're about the only one that I have a shot on, so let's just shoot. Okay. Do a hit. Do a hit. And do a hit. There we go. How much else we can do right now? I uh, can't get Anna back up, so. Good. It's okay. Ow. I think I'm gonna have to heal up. Uh, um. Isabella again. Let's go for it. Uh, quick shot on you. I do have Walker shots, so... Dang it. Come on. Oh, alright. Now I can stun. Um... There's a soldier, a veteran soldier. Let's go ahead and do that. Keep him occupied for a bit. Could move forward. Um, yeah, I'll move a little bit forward. A man at arms soldier there, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully I can get in and uh, um, take care of uh, Anna soon. If I can take care of that guy. All right, let's go. Let's end that turn. Oh, and you poison! Damn it! Moving away. That's fine with me. You're moving away. Wow. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. Shoot. Alright. Um. Let's heal up Isabella. I could stun. get here. Give me a flanking strike. Maybe I should have stunned. I don't have a flanking strike on anyone, but, uh... Or 
work on that. Individual. And finally... 36%. Yeah, it's the same damage, but... That's actually the same, uh... Oh, whatever. There we go. Not quite enough to uh, kill, but uh, at least we got a hit. Uh, I'm a little worried about Bernardo's hit points, but... It's okay. Ow. Ow. Don't, don't take her out. Don't take her out. Okay. Ow. Alright, well, uh... Let's do that. Right, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's do quick shot on... That one there. Nope. Come on. Hit it. Hit, hit. Damn it! Stop that! Alright, well, we got a flanking hit here, so... Go ahead and do that. And... Should've checked to see if, uh... I'd have an opportunity to stun, but... Nope, no stun. Oh! This bell is at 29. That is painful. Um, oh well. What are you doing? Why did you do that? That's silly. Ah, damn it. Ow. Well. I am not going to have an opportunity to, uh, well, let's see. Okay. I can stun. Uh, I can stun. Yeah, let's go ahead and stun people. Just, uh, Save a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, I want to get uh, Anna back up, so let's get over here. Anna, get back up. <gasps> she might. Oh. Good. Yeah, I was afraid that she might go down, but with that damage, she's okay. She'll be okay. Alright. Um, it's pretty much everyone now. Alright, let's go. They can't do anything. It's my turn again. Fantastic. Flanking strike on this guy. You can die. Now you can die. Excellent. <sighs> Alright, critical lacerations and lost uh, one piece of defensive equipment. But we had a victory. Would have been better if I hadn't uh, fainted through, but... You stand victorious, but half your servants are lost. You grab a hold of the participants in the dispute that sparked this confrontation. What was that about? The man answers in broken Spanish. Please forgive, Capitan. They not want to go further. Fear Pyramid, say, so ancient, powerful protections. We are tempting fate to go on. We say, go, you go. We all go, our masters be very angry. They fight before go. Well, hmm. Uh, we'll decide which one we want to uh, do, excuse me, in the next episode. See you then, everyone.